Ragbone Man has revealed he had a baby reindeer experience when two obsessed fans would turn up wherever he was. Like in the Netflix hit about a female stalker, the human singer says he was left frightened and unnerved by the pair. Reliving the scary moments, he recalls. There used to be these two girls that would turn up to every single one of my gigs and at one point I was like, how did you get here from there? You'd be playing in Brixton and then you're doing a gig in, like, Switzerland and they are there. Ra. They'd always be waiting outside the tour bus, that frightened me a little bit. You're tired, you probably only had a few hours sleep, because it's bumpy then you open the door and you're like, oh, thing hell, hello. It's a bit disconcerting. Ragbone Man, whose real name is Rory Graham, adds. They always used to wear the same things at the gigs as well, the same colors. It was like they were going, it's me again. And he likened constantly seeing the girls to a scene from Steve Coogan's Alan Partridge series, when fictional broadcaster Partridge met a fan, who had a shrine to him in his house. It just reminds me of that, says the singer. Do you know what I mean? Not with you, you're a mentalist. Ragbone Man first took the world by storm back in 2016, when he released his hit single, Human. His deep, baritone voice is also unmistakable on follow-up Skin and Giant. And this year, he has released the hit singles What Do You Believe In? and Lovers in a Past Life with Calvin Harris. On November 16th, he will kick off a seven-date UK tour in Leeds and go on to play a further six dates in Europe. Ragbone Man picked his stage name after watching 1960s sitcom Steptoe and Son at his granddad's house. But he admits that since then, he has come to regret his choice. Speaking to rugby star Joe Marler for his Things People Do podcast, he says, I grew up on blues music and they all had funny, silly names. I always thought it sounded like a blues name. Now I've had points where I kind of regret that name because it's so stupid. But at the same time, people don't forget it and Rory Graham just sounds like a Scottish folk singer. There are certainly far less suitable names he could have picked. He definitely doesn't look like a baby reindeer to us.